Hello, everyone. Welcome to our third class. Today, we're going to be doing something very similar to what we did in our first class. We're going to be doing one minute exercises, taking 10 to 15 seconds to switch to the next, completing it, and then we're going to go through that for a couple of rounds. We'll start with a good warm up, and then I'll show you the exercises. So let's get started. Let's get warmed up. So every class, we're probably going to do some sort of a variation of multi directional movement. So if you, you know, get kind of tired of this, that's okay. Um, there, there's a method to my madness and there's a reason why we're doing this. So, um, so if you'll notice last week, if you remember, we did a little bit of this, okay? So we worked on our sagittal plane, our frontal plane, and this is the exact sequence that we did, okay? And then we also did, we broke them down individually with some rotation and counterbalancing with the opposite arm. Okay. This time we're going to do them individually, but I want to focus on a little bit more trunk rotation. Okay. So we're going to step, we're going to start, let's stay congruent. So we'll stay with the left, everyone with their left, left leg. Okay. So here and rotate your trunk and back. Okay. So turn your head with your hands unless you get a little too dizzy with that. Okay. And we're going to do 10 on each side. Okay. Or in each direction. Okay, so don't just throw your arms out, actually rotate the trunk of your body. Okay, now we're going to go the right leg and we're going to rotate towards the right. Okay, so we're always rotating towards the front leg. Two, just let yourself move very fluidly. Three. Four, five, you don't have to go very deep. Okay, now we're going to move lateral left and we're going to rotate towards our left leg. Last one, and switch, right, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Remember, make sure the heel's down. Nine, ten. Okay, so we have two more directions to go. So now we're going to do a little rotation. If this one feels awkward or unsafe or you get dizzy, um, you can just stay with another set of the lateral. Okay, so here, and notice I'm going to take my toe a little beyond perpendicular of my other foot. Okay, so you don't want to torque the knee. I want to turn my toe out a little bit. One, and I'm going to pivot each time. Okay, two, three, four, six, two more. And finally, we're going to go to the right last time. Okay. Remember toe points out a little bit. Okay. Your knee tracks your toe. Don't torque that knee and rotate to your comfortable position. Two more. 
Okay, now finally, let's just go 10 arm circles forward and 10 back, okay? And then we'll get started. Parallel feet. Okay, back. All right, ready to work. Let's get started. So we are going to start our circuit. So we're doing one minute exercises and we're gonna do the following. We're gonna do a squat. We're gonna do a little bit of a variation of the squat we did with last time. We're gonna do a push up and we're gonna do a little variation on that. We'll do a lateral lunge. Okay, last time we did reverse lunges and curtsy lunges. And then finally we'll do lateral raises with the dumbbells or like we used last time, you can use two cans of corn or peas uh, two water bottles, whatever you can wrap your hands around and whatever has a little bit of weight to it, okay? But if you have a you know, pair of two, one, three pound, whatever dumbbells, you can use those as well. So last time when we squatted, I showed you some variations. I showed you, uh, you know, how to hold on to your kitchen counter, a very stable table, that's very important. Don't grab something that's flimsy. Um, or you can use a railing, like maybe on your second floor. Okay, something stable, something you feel very, very safe. Okay, it's very important. So we, did our squats holding on to that, okay? And I showed you uh, how to squat to a chair, okay? That's another option. Um, and then I showed you how to do a freestanding squat. So today I encourage you to try the freestanding squats. If you feel a little unsafe, then please by all means um, grab the, your stable surface, okay? But let me break it down. So you're not gonna, I can't see you, so you, you don't have to worry about trying to impress me with how deep you can go into your squat. Okay, so if I squat this low and my hips are over my heels, okay, I can see the tips of my toes, okay, very important. That's a good squat, okay. Certainly if I can get deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper, that's an even better squat. But this is a good squat, okay. Now, to try and get my depth by elevating my heels and going into my knees and I can't, now I can no longer see the tips of my toes. That's not a good squat. So I don't care how low you go with that, it's not good. But if I go this depth, or I go this depth or this depth, as long as my hips are over my heels and my heels are really solid to the floor and my, um, I can see the tips of my toes, that's a good squat. So I don't care how deep you go, okay? Now, last week we did just a standard push up on the stage this time, I want to add a rotation to that, okay? So for the whole minute, okay, I want you to alternate here. Now notice, this hand is over my shoulder, 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 hand, okay? Unless there's strain, don't strain. So if, if, if you feel too much strain in your shoulder and your back, shorten up that range, okay? But shoot for this perfect alignment, okay? And then your head turns with your hand unless you get dizzy, okay? If you don't feel comfortable with that, by all means stay with the regular push-up, okay, for the full minute, okay? So I'm alternating here, here, okay? Now, I want everyone to use their stable surface. So we're gonna do a lateral lunge. So what we warmed up with, with our pattern here, here and then we went lateral like that. Okay, so that's really just to get the hips warmed up, get the internal core temperature elevated. But for the exercise, I want you to try to go a little bit deeper. Okay, so from here, okay, try to go a little deeper than you did with your warm up. Okay, so I'm gonna try to get maybe three or four more inches in depth. Okay, so that's my goal. Okay, try to get a little bit deeper. Then, we're gonna do a lateral raise, okay? So this will probably be the most fatiguing one that we have done so far. So you don't have to get very high, and I don't want you to get high and flex forward or you know, try to do this, extend too far, too far back. So if you have to shorten it up, you can keep it short, okay? Just get the shoulders working. If you can get to parallel, by all means, or if you start to get to parallel and you start to really get fatigued, you can shorten it up, okay? Any exercise that we do, I don't expect you to complete the entire minute 
if you're starting to feel shortness of breath or if you just get overly fatigued or you just frankly need a rest. So the clock's gonna keep running, but I want you to play it safe and, and go at your pace, okay? So if you do half of that and do 30 seconds, that's, that's totally fine. So just have fun with it. All right, we're gonna start with the squats and I'll give you say 10 seconds to get to the next exercise. Okay, let me pull up my timer. So we're gonna start with squats. And again, I encourage step away from your stable surface, go as deep as you can. And I don't care how deep it is, as long as the weight's in your heels, see the tips of your toes. Try, play around with your, your width of your feet, at least outside your hips, okay? So nothing inside the hips and certainly nothing outside your shoulder width. So somewhere within here, okay, if I have to, bring my feet out just a little bit and it allows me to keep my heels down more and I can get a little bit deeper, then that's probably the good position for you, okay? So we'll get started. One minute, three, two, one, and go, okay? Keep the heels loaded, okay? Go to a depth that feels comfortable. One minute and I'll give you a halfway mark. Keep your chest up. Okay, so you want to extend through your thoracic spine, okay? So here, when I lift, I don't have to crank on my lumbar, okay? I lift my chest and I go into squat, but I stay erect through my spine, halfway. And again, if you feel safe, if you don't feel safe, grab your stable surface and do your squats, okay? And if you want to do it like this, every time we do squats, perfectly okay. Almost there, 10 seconds, weight in your heels, see the tips of your toes, three, two, one, and switch. So we're gonna switch to our push-up and rotation, okay? If you feel more comfortable just doing push-ups, do push-ups. I'll add variations from time to time or, or um, make it a little more challenging, but by all means, you can stay with what you feel safe with. Ready in three, two, one, go. Okay, rotate, line it all up. I'm starting to go down in my push-up as I'm rotating back, okay? Line it up, rotating the trunk of my body. My heels don't have to be down. Okay, if you have really flexible calves and you can go into a full push up without lifting your heels by all means, but that's not the goal. Halfway, okay, you can stay elevated onto your, your heels elevated. Push, rotate, line it all up. Turn your head with your hands unless it makes you dizzy. Almost there. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, switch. We're gonna go to our lateral lunge. Make sure you have enough room um, to where you're not bumping into something. And try the non-traveling leg, so your grounded leg. Okay, so if I'm moving to my left, this is my traveling leg. Try and keep your grounded leg a little straight. Okay, don't lock that knee tight. But try to keep it straight so you get a stretch through your inner thigh here, okay? And then same on the other side. All right, ready? In three, two, one, go. So toes straight ahead. Again, weight in the heels. I'm doing a lateral lunge. I'm kind of in this partial squatted position, but I can see the tips of my toes, okay? Or tip of my toe. Toes straight ahead so my knee tracks my toe. Okay, if I turn it out and I'm lunging in this position, again, I, want, I don't want to put torque on my knee. Halfway. Hold in whatever way makes you feel the safest. But challenge that depth a little bit more than you did when we were warming up. Almost there, three, two, one. Okay, switch to our last exercise in the circuit. 
and we're gonna do lateral raises, okay? Grab whatever, grab bottles of water, um, cans. You can certainly just do your fists, okay? And ready, three, two, one, go. Okay, so remember, if this is your range, that's totally fine. What you wanna avoid is, as soon as I have to go into flexion of my spine, that's too much, okay? So here, I wanna stay elevated. So if you can bring it all the way to parallel without going into flexion or without going into extreme extension of your lumbar spine, okay? So go to your range where you feel comfortable. Halfway. And look straight ahead. So try not to look down, try not to look up. Look straight ahead, keep your spine neutral. Okay, like I said, this will be the most fatiguing one that we do. So if you have to pause within that minute and then pick up a little bit, we're almost there. Three, two, one, and rest. And we're starting over again. So we're going back to that squat. Ready? Three, two, one, and go. Weight in your heels. See the tips of my toes, okay? So challenge it, feel safe. So if I go to this depth and I feel safe, that's a good squat, okay? But visualize a target. Um, visualize the chair when we were sitting in the chair last week. I'm gonna go all the way in my chair that will bring my hips parallel to my knees, okay? So that depth there. So that's our goal, is as we move along in these classes, halfway, we get a little bit, a little bit more depth each time, okay? Keep getting better and better and better. More range of motion, okay? Remember, if you need to hang on, hang on to your stable surface, okay? Almost there, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, good job so far. Now we're gonna go back to our push-up and rotation. Again, stay with the push-up if that's what you feel comfortable with. Three, two, one, and go. Push-up, rotate, okay, push. Push, rotate. Okay, remember, whichever push-up you're doing, halfway, don't elevate in your shoulders, okay? You don't wanna stress your neck, okay? So if I elevate my shoulders like this, then I'm shutting down a lot of the muscles around my shoulder blades, my scapula. So I wanna keep those active. So if I can keep my shoulders depressed, imagine that you had something in between your shoulder blades, you wanna crush it, okay? Here. So now I'm just, I'm not turning this into a chest and shoulder exercise, I'm turning it into upper back as well. Three, two, one, switch. So let's go to our lateral lunge. Get ready, remember, toes straight ahead, weights in my hip and my heels, I can see the tip of my toe on my traveling foot. Three, two, one, and go. A little bit deeper than the lunge that we warmed up with, okay? So if you warmed up with here just because you felt stable, because you weren't holding on to anything, use this for safety and try to go just a little bit deeper. A little bit more range of motion. Now you're more warm. You should be able to go a little bit deeper. Halfway, tip of my toe. Should feel some fatigue in my glutes when I'm done. And use your stable surface for stability. If you wanna step away from your surface and you think you can go a little bit deeper but safe than you did with your warm up, then try that too. Three, two, one, rest. Finally, our lateral raise again. 
Remember, go to the, the range that feels most comfortable for you with no pain, no strain. Three, two, one, go. Remember, we don't wanna strain it and flex our spines forward. Okay, we wanna stay away from that anyway. Wanna lift, but we don't wanna crank out our lumbar spines either. So I think people in my class are sick of hearing me say neutral knees. That's something you'll hear me say a lot. Neutral knee, okay, I don't wanna be locked out. This wastes a lot of energy, puts strain on my back. Halfway, I wanna maintain neutral knee neutral pelvis, I don't want pelvic tilt, okay? So a lot of my standing exercises, you wanna maintain that neutral knee. Don't lock out. It'll help you to breathe and stand up straight. Neutral knee. Almost there. And three, two, one, and rest. So we'll finish with that. So feel free to re-watch these or if you have access to a timer, you can see a timer, your watch, your phone, or you know, what have you, clock, and you wanna go through you know, two or three more rounds, um, I challenge you to try you know, to do a little bit more. Um, and feel free to watch these again and again. So we'll mix it up every single time so it's not exactly the same thing. Um, we'll repeat some exercises so that you can see the progression in yourself so if I don't repeat an exercise, then you don't know if you're gonna get any better at it. So I want you to improve in strength, stamina, range of motion, and get stronger and live long, happy lives. So uh, have a good day and we'll see you next time.